I think he's going to have some difficulty. I know he's got a lot of experience, and he knows that I've been through a few wars myself. I think that he might be a little slower than I am, and I don't think he's faced a fighter with as big a punch as mine. I think that with my kind of punching power, that if I don't knock him to the canvas, I know that at least I'll cause him a great deal of pain. He's a very aggressive fighter. If it's power against power, the one who wins is the one who can take the most punishment. You know, the one with the strongest chin. On the other hand, if he's going to box me, then I'll box him, and we'll see what happens. I know I'm going to win, and I know he's going to hit hard. But whatever he does, I'll still be victorious over him. All I know is that, on September 17th, if the fight goes the distance, I'm going to win. If it doesn't go the distance, it's because I knocked him out. So either way, if I knock him out, or the fight goes the distance, I'm still going to win. This fight represents the future of my career. I have to win this fight to go ahead in boxing. If I lose, I may not get another chance. I've waited a long time for this opportunity and I have to make the best of this opportunity. I'm looking forward to going in there and winning. Both Puerto Rico and Mexico have a long and proud boxing tradition and that tradition lives on in these two undefeated fighters. Tonight, they're at the crossroads, like Lehigh Reyes earlier this evening. Trinidad and Compass are faced with a huge opportunity. In a moment, we will know who will prevail, remain undefeated, and be called world champion. It's Trinidad versus Compass coming up next. Back down to ringside once again, Steve Albert. Steve. Thanks again, Jim. This second fight shapes up as a potential blockbuster. We've been uh, ringside now for much of the rapid rise of 21-year-old prodigy champion Felix Trinidad, and we've witnessed his explosive punching power. But the man he faces tonight has 50 of his 56 wins by way of knockout. Yet as impressive as Yori Boy Compass's record is, he's still one of boxing's best-kept secrets, a fighter in search of an identity. A victory tonight would certainly be his coming-out party. But one thing's for sure, if this fight goes the distance, just like the last one, that would be an upset. Trinidad and Compass have combined for an 87% knockout ratio, 25% of their fights end in the first round. Trinidad, 23-0 with 19 knockouts, averages less than four rounds per fight. Compass, 56-0 with 50 KOs, averages just over four rounds per fight. So the best advice for this matchup, don't go to the fridge. Aside from their impressive knockout records, this represents a career landmark fight for two undefeated fighters. All right, let's get into the strengths and weaknesses of Felix Trinidad and the possible advantage he has as champion. Bobby Chiz, what's your read on that? Well, Trinidad is a great young champion with good credentials. He's a good boxer with excellent power, comes to fight, and is well conditioned. He does have some limited experience at this level, though, Steve, in championship fights, and his chin has shown to be not as great as his other attributes. Although being a young champion, they sometimes rise to that championship level. I think that's going to give him some added confidence here tonight. All right. Then there's the little known but talented skills of Yori Boy Compass. The question is, has he fought enough quality opposition to be ready for tonight? Ferdy, what do you say? I tell you what, anytime you fight 56 guys and you knock 50 of them out, I don't care if they're shepherds or goat keepers, that's a lot of punching power. That's the essence of tonight. This guy can punch. I've seen him in three or four of his young fights. He can punch. He's got the body of uh, Chavez, but the punch of Mike Tyson. This is going to be a barn burner tonight. Don't leave your seat. This is going to be hell on wheels. I've seen some goat keepers with good chins in my lifetime. Let's take our first look at the challenger in the ring. Ramon Yuri Boy Compass out of Navajo, Sonora, Mexico. The 23 year old Compass, the former Mexican welterweight champion, is the IBF and WBA number one rated welterweight contender and holds the distinction of having the best record in the world 56 0, 50 knockouts, the longest undefeated streak in boxing today. Compass now in his seventh year professionally, having turned pro at 16, getting his first shot at a world title. 
And here is the champion making his way to the ring, 21-year-old Felix Trinidad from Cupialto, Rio Piedras, Puerto Rico. Trinidad coming off the unanimous decision over fellow countryman Hector Macho Camacho in January, a seven-month layoff, also undefeated, and the owner of the premier, one of the premier knockout ratios in boxing, 23 and 19 knockouts, owns the eighth highest knockout ratio of all present world champs, and perhaps best remembered for his total dismantling of two-time world champion Maurice Blocker to win the belt his first title shot in June of 92 tonight a little over a year since he put on the championship belt he makes his fourth defense of the IBF welterweight crown let's see how they stack up on paper as we go to the tail of the tape the champion Trinidad at 21 two years younger than compass Trinidad has the three inch height advantage both just under the limit at 146 and a half the reach Trinidad 70 inches compass 66 and a half so a three and a half inch reach advantage for the champion and this fight is even at the MGM book to the IBF rules for this championship fight 10 point must scoring system three scoring judges no standing eight count no three knockdown rule only the referee can stop the fight and the bell cannot save a fighter in any round so here at the MGM Grand Garden in Las Vegas one down three to go as we close in on the IBF welterweight championship between Felix Trinidad and Yuri Boy Compass Let's go up to our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Well, fans, we welcome you to our next world title feature bout brought to you by Don King Productions and King Vision in association with SET, Pay-Per-View, Corona Beer, and the MGM Grand. At this time, we present the IBF Welterweight Championship of the World. This bout is sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation, President Bob Lee, Supervisor Walter Stone, along with the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Dr. Elias Ghanem. Introducing to you the judges scoring the bout from ringside. Bernie Cormier, Sheila Harmon Martin, and Jerry Roth. Introducing to you the referee in charge of this bout, he'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Richard Steele. All right, fans, here we go with the IBF Welterweight Championship of the World scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first the challenger on my left fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing black trunks with orange trim, hailing from and representing Navajoa, Sonora, Mexico. He weighed in at a ready 146 and one half pounds, and his record represents the longest undefeated streak in boxing today with 56 wins, no losses, 50 big wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome tonight's challenger, who is ranked the number one welterweight contender in the world by the IBF, introducing the undefeated Luis Ramon Yoribo. opponent across the ring is the defending world champion on my right fighting out of the red corner he is wearing white trunks and hailing from Coupe Alto Puerto Rico he weighed in at the same weight of 146 and one half pounds he is undefeated in his campaign as a professional with 23 wins no losses and 19 wins coming by way of knockout Please welcome a rising young star of the welterweight division, tonight making the fourth defense of his title, introducing the undefeated IBF welterweight champion of the world, Felix Tito Trinidad. Once again, here's your referee in charge, Richard Steele. Let's go. I spoke to both fighters in the dressing room. I'm cautioning again, obey my commands at all times. Any questions? Shake hands and good luck. The big question in this battle of knockout artists, Felix Trinidad and Yori Boy Compass, might not be about statistics. It might be about 
test of who has the better chin. Felix Trinidad coming in 23 and 0, 19 knockouts. Yori Boy Compass 56 and 0 with 50 KOs. And if you thought the crowd was behind Gabriel Ruelas, where do you hear the crowd get behind Yori Boy Compass, who was born and still lives in Mexico? Most of his fights have been in Mexico. We had him a couple of times. Oh, nice right hand by Felix Trinidad, who can box like a dream. Bertie, I was talking to Carlos Palomino before former welterweight champion of the world said Trinidad may not, may have a better defense he said but this kid does have a pretty good chin. Compass gets hit a lot but has a good chin. No holding. Trinidad has an easy no relaxed holding. style but he no can push. turn it up in a hurry go to the attack with much pressure early on he likes to test his opponents feel him out counter punch before he gets into high gear he's got power in both hands we've seen that compass straight up straight ahead style forces the pace. Good short, crisp, quick right hand. Excellent knockout punch, obviously. And if an opponent drops his left, that could be big trouble. Strong in your face left jab. Excellent hook to the body. And as uh, Bobby pointed out, has the chin. Yori Boy, which incidentally means late skin, a name he picked up as a kid growing up in Mexico, had to go to court to get this title shot. According to his handlers, nobody wanted to fight him, including Trinidad, uh, because of the staggering record even though he's got no recognizable names. Yeah some of the guys were teasing when we were doing interviews with him said Yuri Boy actually means white boy and uh, <laughs> hey, I jumped in there and had a tease him Whoa, back no, they, a lot of people no, say that the white boys can't fight very well. Well here's one that can. It, it, this uh, right this opening round is what we expected uh, a round in which Trinidad boxes beautifully not taking any chances Yuri Boy is being patient just waiting for his little uh, Opportunity to land one big shot. I characterize him as the body of Chavez and the punch of Mike Tyson. Wait to see what this guy does once he gets on track. If he gets on track, because he's got in front of him an excellent fight. Compass in the darker trunks told us he'll start out by looking to test Trinidad, just as Ferdy pointed out, see what he has. Compass specializes in slug fests, and he says he's very prepared for Trinidad. Compass doesn't think Trinidad can take the intense pressure that he will offer, plus the fact that Compass has the strong chin. Well right now it's the pot the boxing ability of Felix Trinidad is making all the difference right here. Trinidad had a little problem making weight. He spent a good portion no, of yesterday no, morning no. in the gym working feverishly to shed three or four pounds before the afternoon weigh in. Apparently willing to just wait till getting close to the body and land some hammering shots. Two have been a little low, but hard to the body. Trinidad has shown to have nice defense on the inside, picking off some of those punches, his elbows and his gloves. Very sharp right now. And that is it for round one. Let's go over to Jim Gray. Jim. All right, thank you very much, Steve. I'm with the new champion, Gabrielle Ruelas. Gabby, did you ever feel at any point that you were not in control of the fight? I never did, but uh, you know, I was worried about those two points they took away uh, from me. I, I thought it was only one, but Joe, let, uh, at the end of the rounds, he told me that it was two points. You know, I was so concentrated on the fight, but uh, uh, my performance on each round, based upon each round, I, I thought I had the fight. You know, there was no question about that. Would you give him a rematch? You seem to frustrate him all night. <laughs> you know what? He's gonna, he's gonna uh, have to fight all those other guys that he said that I had him fight to deserve to fight me, you know, because uh, I'm not saying that he disrespected me, but I just didn't like what, what he said at the end. You know, he was saying that I didn't fight the, the opponents that he had fought. Well, now he sees what happened. You know what I mean? But Congratulations. Uh, I definitely you. would give him a, a rematch. Congratulations to you. We look forward to that. Let's go back outside to Steve Albert. All right, uh, Jim. Uh, Ruelas, who looked like he had his nose rearranged a little bit, but yeah. I don't think he's going to be crying over it. He looks like he's got a deep tour in the, in the middle of the road there. All right, here we go, round two. Some good action from Trinidad to start things out. Yeah, Trinidad wants him to feel like he's not the only one that can punch because Trinidad does have a good punch. Oh, yeah, Trinidad's not oh, short and squat and built like a puncher, but he has some sharp, crisp, good punches. Oh, there's been a lot of great tall, skinny guys that can punch your head off. And <laughs> Bob Foss. Keep him up. Oh, keep yeah. him up. Great light heavyweight champ. He had a lightweight named Douglas Vallant that came from the islands. And boy, if he had been a, a nice person that liked to train, he could have been the champion of the world. Skinny as a rail. 
Now Trinidad who is considered to be one of boxing's rising young superstars. However he beat a 30 year old Maurice Blanca and a 31 year old Hector Camacho. Question is how will he do against a boxer in the prime of his career like Yuri Boy Compass. Well, huh? We're about to see. We're about to see. Yuri Boy this is right where he wants to be right inside away from that long left jab. He better work a little bit harder than just that. I mean he's, he's a little tight this Yuri Boy Compass. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's got to throw some punches for it. He's yeah. not getting off on the inside even when he gets there. Yeah, and, and that's not his style. His style is looks like he's advancing and getting there, not throwing it. Get there and throw. That's his way. And you wonder if the inactivity of Trinidad will be a factor. Hasn't fought for seven months, but he uh, he promises that the longest break in his career will not be a factor. Well, well, somebody once told Sugar Ray Leonard that taking off all those years, he couldn't come back and beat Marvin Hagler, and you see what happened there. Well, in, in this case, youth is served. <laughs> youth makes up for a lot of mistakes. I mean, this guy is so young and he's so well conditioned. He lives a very nice, clean life. Uh oh! Oh, down goes Trinidad! I'm telling you, a little short, a little short. That was a six inch left hook. I've never seen one before. I'm telling you, this guy can punch like Tyson. Yuri Boy Compish looking to the throne. Felix Trinidad levels Trinidad here in round two. Less than a minute remaining. Tell you what, though, he's not working hard enough right now while he's got Trinidad a little hurt. But I've seen him work before, Bobby. He's not the kind of swarms on you. He just waits to land those heavy hands. I mean, he knows one of them will do it. He knocked 50 guys out this week. Oh, a solid uppercut by Compass. Keep him up. We saw Trinidad get decked a few fights ago by a journeyman named Anthony Stevens. So this is really no surprise. And it's no journeyman. Absolutely. When you get dropped by this guy, you got trouble when you get up. Trinidad trying to fight back, doubles up on the left. Less than 20 seconds to go in the second. Again, the pressure from Compass. That right hand also hurt Trinidad. You yeah. see him do a little double step there, and that wasn't of his own doing. It was the right hand. Final seconds, round two. A round that saw the champion, Felix Trinidad, go to the deck. I said, that's nothing. It's just a flash knockdown. We've been down before. Let's go back and stick right to our game plan. Nothing new in the corner. They just wanted to keep on boxing, not to be discouraged by that knockdown. Smart corner work. All right, let's take a look and re remember how short this is. Boom. And right on the button. I mean, that's what you call a punching power of this guy, Bobby. Bernie, that's the shortest left hook I've ever seen. He takes it back maybe six inches and just jumps in with it. Bam! He didn't even cock it or unwind it. It just, just jumped in with his body. I mean, and it went just with the flow of his body, just turned it right. Well, that's a puncher, Bobby. You knock out 50 guys out of 56 guys, you got to have something. I don't care who you're knocking out. Trinidad down a minute 45 into round two. No, we now no, enter no, round no, number no, three. So many stories here. Not only the two fighters in the ring, but Richard Steele. Still hearing it after four and a half years. A reminder of what's ahead with Chavez and Taylor, too. Well, I hope he hasn't got a tough night tonight. Poor Richard Steele has had a career full of upsets and, and controversy. Takes a lot of guts for Steele to even be in this arena tonight. I give him a lot of credit. Yeah, I tell you what, I think he's a very competent referee. He's just been put in some oh, look at this. situations. Look at this. Oh, All right. Give him up, give him up. He's coming back. They must have told him in the corner you got him. Now don't just go slow. Go at it. Low, hey, hey, low, hey, low hey, by Trinidad. Keep it up. Keep it up. And Come on. the warning from Steele. Yeah. To finish Bob's thought, and I agree with it, Steele is a top flight referee. He's just had a couple of really strange moments in his life, but let's get back to this fight, which is top flight. You have to wonder if that knock oh, another one. I know. Oh, look out. Good corner. Time. One point. Oh, boy. He's taking a point already. This could be a very long night. He only got one warning, Ferdy, not two. Oh man. Here we go again. Oh, it's just something about there's something about championship fights and, and steel that seems to to uh, dim his judgment. A point on oh, the bad from Lolo here in round three. So a tough, tough start. Felix Trinidad, the champion. Oh, a big left hand by Trinidad coming back. I'll tell you what, he's low by Trinidad. Here Compass with that left hook. I saw Compass stand up and his legs get a little funny. He came out of that crouch and he was stood up by that left hook. Oh, those were great hooks. Another low hook. Oh, oh, oh. Both of you 
guys. Keep now both up. of them are guilty. Oh, wow. Halfway through the third round and beyond. A low blow festival. Go all in. And Go this one in. has Great. the first seven, fight seven. shaping up to be a wild affair. Oh, Trinidad boxes so beautifully when he gets started. Look at oh, that. what a right hand by Trinidad. But there's the chin of Compass. He's holding well, I'll tell you what. The difference in this fight is going to be conditioning, Freddie. It has to be, and I think right Go now the favors in Trinidad's come corner. On, work your way out. I mean, if this kid's not a superstar to come, I don't know. He's going to have to get by here. Look at these shots by Trinidad. They're all landing flush on the face, and Compass just standing in there and taking it. What's holding him up? What a chin again. Blistering shots by Trinidad. Exploding. Trinidad, a thing of beauty as he punches. What a chin. Carlos Palomino told me the difference might be that defense. He said that Compass takes too many shots. But Trinidad bombing away here at round three. 25 seconds and counting. So remember the best he can get is an even round because they've taken a point away from him already. Out, punch away out. Trinidad coming off the canvas. He was decked in round two. Oh, look at that left uppercut twisting into the chin of Compass. He's a thing of beauty when he gets going. He's just saying, you got to throw your hands. You got to throw your hands. Don't stand there and catch this guy. He's got too many punches. Let's take a look at that low blow. There certainly were enough of them. You could pick up by any reason. Oh, yeah. That was low. That was below the orange there. I was clean. It was right square in the middle. And you know, funny, right after he hit Compass with the low blow, he got yeah. a right uppercut in his mouth. And of course, great fighters come back. And this kid has got all the makings of a great fighter. And 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 when you're looking at it, what's holding up, up Compass? I mean, those shots are so beautiful by Trinidad. Well, we want to know about it, Chin. Now we know. All right. So after that hard-working round, he got an even round because he certainly was pummeling. Yuri Boy Campos, but they took a point away from him. Round four, scheduled for 12 for the IBF Waterweight Championship. Felix Trinidad in the white with the red trim is the champion. Oh, what a right uppercut by Trinidad. And again, Campos just stares right back at him. Doesn't even flinch from those shots. Now he's one of these tough guys from the interior of Mexico. Just come out, you got to just about kill him and knock him out. Well, the fact that he punches so well, Compass, you we can never count him out. He's always got that puncher's chance, and that's what no makes him dangerous. Pushing and hitting there, Trinidad. Trinidad probably wondering himself, what do I have to do to get this guy down? Yeah, and let me tell you, Gamba does not pardon you as far as the body. He keeps going right to the body. He could just be going head hunting with his punch, but he keeps working on that body. He knows, he knows. Work on the body, and then he'll come up when the out. time comes. Shades of Chavez. Oh, combination beautiful combination. And a left hook by Trinidad. On a right, followed by a left. Compass, is he ready to go? Yeah. He's staggered. I don't know what's holding him up, Steve. He is getting hit with everything. Unbelievable chin, Yuri Boy Compass. That is inhuman. He just got hit with a tremendous body shot as well. Keep him up, keep I'll him tell up. you what, the punches are taking its toll everywhere. His face is showing the signs. It's terrible. Halfway through the fourth round, Yuri Boy Compass somehow still standing. What keeps this kid up? Just remember that one shot can turn it around. And Compass comes back. Even after taking that punishment, he comes back with a flurry. Another combination to the head by Trinidad. He just takes those punches so clean. You can't do that. That not only shortens careers, but it'll shorten his fight. Well, he should shorten his fight. He should have been out. This, this is the kind of guy that throws a punch from the canvas. I mean, he seems to be automatic with his punches. Campus. And beautiful, beautiful combination punching. You can't see it better than by Trinidad's punching here. Furious pace here. They stand in the center of the ring toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Now, this figured to be one of the best up. fights of the... Oh, 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 a series of lefts by Trinidad. It rocked Campus no, for a second, but he comes no, right back. No holding 
to Trinidad's Richard Steele. Wild miss, and he follows it up I'll tell you with what, a vicious right. You're looking at the beginning of the end right here. Compass ready to go, or is he? Oh, unbelievable. Richard Steele steps in. It's over. It's all over. And he still didn't go down, Steve. He wouldn't take him off his feet. Unbelievable. Get a spoon. Get a spoon. What a display of heart and courage by Yori Boy Compass. And what an explosion by Felix Trinidad. Well, he is a superstar, and I'll tell you one thing. Steele redeemed himself because he stopped it just when he should have stopped it. It is an excellent, excellent example of what a new future champion of uh, superstar quality can look like. Felix Trinidad, as we said when he went to fight Blocker, is the goods. And he proved it again tonight. His toughest fight, he came through like Sugar Ray Robinson. Felix Trinidad comes off the canvas in round two to end it here in round four with a blistering attack to the head of Yori Boy Compass, who just refused to go down. Unbelievable heart. That is so an immeasurable quality that all the great ones have. Well, the one thing that tells in boxing is class. And uh, while I am one of the biggest admirers of Campos and have seen him so many times fight and pull fights out, still he was, when you saw these two guys together, that's two different kinds of class. Uh, Felix Trinidad being, his hand being held up by his managers and Don King, big, big, big future ahead of this young kid. And now let's watch a master in action, young as he is. Look at the aggression on the face of Trinidad. Punches from all angles. Oh. Now that is as close as you can come to being knocked out standing up. Steve, I'll tell you what, Bertie, this kid has got all of it. He got up off the floor again and in just a matter of two rounds, demolished his opponent. Accuracy, power on each shot, all the punches, the hooks, the uppercuts, the right hands, the jabs. Good defense, good speed, a future legend. I, I, I was so impressed when I saw him first. I saw him in Miami when he had three or four fights. I couldn't believe he was that good. That baby faced little killer. Watch this. From this angle, you can see, look at that punch. That one is, a, is that alone should have knocked him out. And as he goes to the ropes, there's two right there and right there that just you don't even like to see. I mean, that, that was just already too much. No question about it. No question about it. This is a star of the future. Felix Trinidad remains undefeated. His fourth defense of the IBF welterweight title. And a star that continues to shine. The pride of Puerto Rico now 24-0 as Trinidad inflicts the first loss on Yori Boy Compass. There you see it, 241, round four. Compass previously unblemished, now 56-1. and one. Boy, they just keep lining them up for Felix. Let's hear the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, 41 seconds. In round number four, the referee in charge, Richard Steele, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated and still champion, Felix Tito Trinidad. So there you have it. The flag of Puerto Rico draped above Felix Trinidad. Putting an end to some doubt that he could get by a young, tough opponent in his prime, like Compass, after uh, knocking off some declining veterans, the likes of Maurice Blocker and Hector Macho Camacho. No doubt about Felix Trinidad right now. Well, coming up next here at the MGM Grand Garden.